my last vlog, I started using my Sony a7 III with the Rode Video Micro on top of it. And I realized how much better the video quality and the audio quality from this microphone is. And it made me kind of want to use this as my vlogging setup. Thing is, it is so much bigger and heavier than what I was using, which was my Sony a6300 with the Sony microphone on top of it. The reason I was using this is because it's small and compact and the microphone uh, attaches on the hot shoe and it doesn't have this additional wire sticking out of it. And it was just much easier to shoot with and it was much smaller and lighter and easier for me to uh, just, you know, position around and move and take videos of things. Uh, I'm gonna try doing more vlogs with the Sony a7 III this setup. Um, and then I will kind of reserve this setup for when I'm cycling or I need a lighter camera or, you know, a bigger camera might be getting in the way of me deciding to shoot something. Before I committed to doing all these vlogs, I did a little bit of a pilot during one day during quarantine, uh, just recording random things that I did just in that one day. And I have all that footage sitting in my computer, so I decided to do a really quick super edit of it just so it's not wasted and I don't forget it. So here it is. So I finally got the rest of my prints from Shutterfly. I do have a little bit of a print hack, if you're curious. Um, I ordered from Shutterfly because on Best Buy, if you were to order any camera accessories, um, a lot of them have this free item with purchase, which a lot of people ignore, but it's $25 in Shutterfly. So I've like ordered a bunch of stuff on Best Buy and I've actually collected the codes for these and I've just been ordering my prints on Shutterfly because it essentially is free. So I just hung up the additional prints that I just got up onto the wall but I'm not going to do a reveal just yet if you want to see the final reveal. I will cover it in a future video, but you just got to subscribe. So Jess, you have an event mm -hmm. at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Can you give everyone an elevator pitch as to what it's about? Yes. All right. Um, so in honor of Asian Heritage Month and Mental Health Awareness Month, um, on May 30th and 31st, I'm having a speaker series on emotional language as Asian Americans. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. I'm interviewing therapists um, to give advice um, on uh, like direct emotional communication. So day one is actually from therapists to therapists. So if you are a therapist that wants to help your clients more like directly name their emotions, um, this event is for you. And then day two is just community Q&A, um, specifically around how to communicate your emotions with your family. Um, so if you are interested in any of those topics, you can go to backtoself.us slash API emotions. So I will leave that link down below. It's on May 30th and 31st. May 31st. Yeah. And it's all online, so just find 
the link below. Okay. So we're here at Queensbridge Park. You can see the park right here, we're right underneath the bridge. And we're going biking today. It's a nice day on Sunday. And we're waiting for Justice friend Belinda. And then we're gonna head over to Sunnyside where I'm gonna take them on a tour of where I used to live. Mm -hmm. 